Our next speaker is Mr. Raja Shanmugam. He is Global Head Strategy and Business Development, IoT Businesses Unit at Tata Consultancy Services. In fact, he, uh, he is responsible for developing the IoT business uh, and leading the global IoT sales team, marketing and analyst relations and developing strategic alliances and partnerships. He, he was also a core member of mergers and acquisitions team for computational research laboratories, a high performance computing service Sys provider acquired by TCS in 2012. He is a leading voice of uh, Internet of Things space and delivering uh, keynote addresses as prom prominent industry events and has published various works of thought leadership, including an article on realizing business value from Internet of Things. So over to you, Mr. Shanmugam. Thanks for the participants also for joining this session and thanks to FICCI for uh, enabling this virtual webinar because I thought this is very important for the current situation because uh, I think as the other speakers talked about, you have a lot already happening or already talked about IoT and across the world. Uh, today, if you type in IoT in Google, probably you will have endless pages and reports and use cases which has already been done by customers all over the world. So what is important is at the same time to, for us to reflect how it means uh, impactful technology or impactful even for organizations in Dujuri. And uh, that is where the difference comes in. I think everybody talks about trillions of devices going to get connected, et cetera, on all the reports. But if you look at it at the organization's level, right? And still the report says that only 24% of organizations have adopted IoT and has also taken beyond POC. That means they started using it in a scaled way. There's still 76% of organizations are still in its either starting the phase or proof of technology or proof of concept phase. So that talks a lot because uh, we believe that. And uh, that's what I thought I will bring some of the best practices, how it is working well for the global organizations as well as for some of our Indian customers as well. And there are some best practices too definitely everybody to have a look at it. Uh, Atul, just a check. I think in the window, I'm only seeing you. No, we are able to see you, not a problem. Okay. <laughs> Very good. So, so that's why I thought of, one is demystifying the potential of IoT. I would say that the potential of IoT, there is no issue. The potential is very big and organizations are really able to transform themselves. Demystifying because the way forward or how to really realize the potential within the organization is a question mark for many. Many have started proof of technologies or proof of concept. They are not able to move into a scalable phase because the dimensions when you look at a POC versus the dimensions when you are thinking about a large scale implementation, it's completely different. So, so that is one of the reasons why many organizations at the CEO level, they say that this is what I want to do. I want to move to a services portfolio or a digital services I want to launch to our customers, or I want to create excellent customer service to my customers. Or in the COVID times, it has become very more, very much important that uh, how I can give utmost service for my assets on the field without sending the people into that. Because, because of lockdown, we are not able to send field service engineers all over the world, right? So how will I ensure the customer satisfaction? And uh, how will I ensure my assets on the field is not failing? And how will I ensure my operational eff efficiencies are improving beyond? How I can increase my flexibility beyond? So all these things were asked at the C-level executives. But when it comes to the ground level, there are difficulties because of plethora of technology availability choices for you to choose from. Number two, there is nobody actually, everybody talks about technology, but very few talks about how to achieve the results. So that's why I thought I will share some of the perspectives here. Yeah, next slide, Robert. So I call it like there are four key pillars that you need to really look at. Next slide, Robert. Yeah. Uh, number one is your business value focus. That means that don't get into a technology evangelization phase. Technology is given. Today, there are enough proof points. There are enough players in the market. There are enough options in the market. So as a customer, as an organization, you should not worry much about which technology to pick. Instead, you should worry about what do I want to achieve? 
because this is a transformative force we believe that this is really bringing life to things means that your devices or the sensors are going to talk or they are even they can be enabled to control themselves then the amount of inefficiency you can remove from the system is huge and the possibilities for you to reimagine yourself is huge so then want to you to think about what do you want to achieve and uh, even as a one function what do you want to achieve as your business value or what do you want to achieve as a whole as an organization or how you want to transform yourself so that should be the core uh, focus for the organization before even you venture into iot and number two is it is not a pure it play or a digital play or a business play or only a service engineers play. it is not single siloed function it is a transformative force which will cut across all so even if you are thinking about service transformation you need to involve your engineering team it team digital team as well as the services team so that it is a multi stakeholders gets involved and structure this so you will be able to bring in a value which was not seen by your customer or bring in a value which was not seen by your plant or a warehouse or your logistics teams so it is important to bring in multi stakeholders to be involved from day one and a very important one is like you need a structured road map for your functions across the functions as well as for the organization to really achieve that business value that you are setting for so go to the next slide so let me talk a bit about what is the structured road map what i mean because as i told about it is about not just connecting or collecting the data from the devices now we need to think about how these devices can have a life on its own how these devices will be able to control or will be able to emit the data to the next layer so that the organization can get much more value because real time information based decision making was never there that for that uh, capability was never there in the organization so today with that what kind of newer skills or newer capabilities that you as an organization you can gain for different functions so we believe that it is a possibility for you to think boundaryless means that because irrespective of assets on the field or on the move etc you will be able to control beyond your organizational boundaries so it gives you a power to be boundaryless as an organization number 2 you are able to make the decision making privacy that means that from the device layer till your management layer every layer can different decisions can be made because the data flows and the controls and the decisions can be left to the devices on the ground at the edge level as well as move to the cloud and all across so and you can bring rich experience for yourself your customers as well as for your internal stakeholders so if you reimagine yourself in a different way then the possibilities are humongous you can get into that seamless customer experience as i talked about and sustainable build, because i think now every organization today talks about zero carbon footprint or carbon neutral etc you will be able to reach that very quickly and your organization can be having agility uh, across efficiencies doesn't need to be 1 percentage improvement today you can go multifold so we say that responding to the physical context with the digital intelligence will help you to unlock the exponential value let's see how the yeah, next slide please so i have just taken one industry for the just for representation the manufacturing industry and uh, as we know that it has a production function or a supply chain or a customer service or different functions right and uh, we you need to approach it in a structured way means that in three phases <clears throat> connect in context so you just connecting devices across from a different context what is the value is possible in production by ability to remotely monitor my devices what is that out of possible for me i will be able to have the visibility move from scheduled maintenance into the preventive maintenance etc and move further with respect if i talk about supply chain i will be able to know all the devices availability all the truck availability and uh, effectively utilize and reduce that empty load trucks which is which will be the one of the pain points in the logistics functions and similarly on the customer service how i able to remotely connect and drive that customer experience further this is just by connecting context move to the next layer which is leveraging artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques where you will be able to bring again next set of value so the same assets which you have connected now you can move into the digital twin of an asset and similarly same logistics 
tracks as well as the routing algorithm that you have put on top of it now you will be able to not only reduce the empty loads of the trucks ensure on time availability ensure the availability of the trucks and the compliance regulations everything in a very quick manner and on the similarly on the customer service evolve it before the customer complains to you you will be able to solve the problems through predictive maintenance and altogether all the in when you when it moves into self aware status actually now you can think about autonomous supply chain systems or autonomous warehouse systems or your lighthouse warehouses or even your uh, manufacturing lines can be thought about autonomous way about the future so this is the journey where you can evolve by connecting what is the business value i can get by adding predictive la- layer on top of it, what is the business value i can achieve and then move towards the future whereby completely the organization and silos between the organization disappear and you become much more powerful and much more transformational organization of the future yeah next please so there are lots of use cases i can talk about we have been working with mining organizations in india as well as in resources in energy and manufacturing or uh, consumer product groups and uh, lots of organization and even travel and transportation so the technology i want to say the technology is available for all the scenarios today and it is evolving way and way above and the technology is actually moving a little faster than the business adoption and businesses today don't need to wait for or no need to worry about the technology choices there are partners who can help you to make it so i want you to think about dream big and worry about what is the art of possible for us and what do we need to achieve in one year two year three year timeline and whatever you start aim for within 12 months to 18 months you get the returns of it so that it becomes a self funding model on a continuous way so you start some use cases get the results invest in the next layer and next phases so across the organization you bring that powerful force which helps you to transform so very very important one for that is really discovering the value discovering the value which is worth investing for you so that is what we call it as value discovery phase so before the technology focus on the value discovery phase whereby what is worth solving for the organization what will create a meaningful impact for the organization for its long term sustainability and focus on that so focus on identifying that with the involvement of right stakeholders and crystallizing that into a business case so that that itself becomes a clear case for the organization to adopt it and then that sets the road map what i talked about in the earlier slide that we will be able to discover the value then focus and realize the value in a structured way then go ahead and optimize it further so i think uh, this is a quick three sliders i just want to share what is needed for organizations to really adopt and to really achieve the business value and really transform irrespective of the organizations of the size the technology is available today so not to worry about the technology let's dream big and here is a chance for all our indian organizations also to dream big and really take over the world so thanks a lot facci for the opportunity